Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this ambient fantasy sort of track. Um, it's pretty simple. There's only six tracks in this arrangement, so um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I've color-coded each section here so you can kind of see what's going on with the structure. Um, it's it's pretty simple arrangement. Um, only six tracks here. So first off, we have this uh, green section right here. Um, I guess you could call this the main section. Um, it's played three times in this song. So. Um, yeah, that's like the main sort of section, I guess you could say. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, we have two harps here playing this. So this um, second harp here, this was actually the first idea. Just <clears throat> a very simple sort of thing. And I wanted to add a counter melody to it, so I got another harp and I did this. On its own, it sounds kind of weird, but when you put the two together, you get this. And these are from uh, this BBC uh, Orchestra. This is free, by the way, and I highly recommend it. Uh, next, we have these strings here. I'm using um, Labs for this, which is also free, and I highly recommend it. Um, I also have these strings right here. Just to add a little extra something to the chords. So with that, with the chords. Just to make it sound a little more interesting. I mean, there's only two chords being played here um, for this part, so just wanted to make it a little more interesting. Um, pr for this part, we have these violins and woodwinds here doing this. Just as an extra melody in the background. When you put that one. Right so yeah, that's the green section. As you can see, it's played three times in this song. It's kind of like the main section, like the main theme, I guess you could say. Um, next we have this blue section here, or this light blue section. Um, so something interesting about this section, I'm actually doing a sort of a key change here. So if I just solo the harps here, um, I'm doing this. And the key changes is right here. And then back to the other key. The key change. So what I'm doing here is it's this um, C sharp right here. Because for, for the majority of this song, we're in B minor. But I actually go to like an E minor, or I guess you could say like a C Lydian sort of sound. And it's because of this um, C sharp right here. But like in E minor, C sharp isn't in the key. So it actually goes to this um, C right here. B minor and E minor, they sound kind of similar. But yeah, it's these two notes right here. So we're in B minor right here, E minor, B minor. Uh, 
I'm not an expert when it comes to keys or music theory. I barely know any kind of theory, so I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> yeah. Underneath that is the chords. It's the same thing, but just one note changing. So, you know, it sounds like B e minor. And then with this C, that's what gives it that sort of dreamy Lydian sort of sound. I've also got um, these right here. Just to add something, just make it a little more interesting. Okay, and now this blue section right here. So for this section, we're in kind of like a C Lydian sort of sound. C Lydian is basically E minor in a different position. That's why I keep referring to E minor. We're just playing these um, C major and D major triads here, and they sound really good. Um, triads are basically chords made up of thirds, and um, yeah, they sound really good. Very dreamy very ethereal sort of sounding. And with this, I actually use this, uh, I guess, melody a lot in this album. Uh, go check it out. Um, I use it a lot. This same exact chord progression with it too. I just love it. I love the way it sounds. And with these harps here. Um, they're playing the sort of the same thing for each run. However, um, these top notes right here, they change with the chords. So, so for like the C major sort of chord, we're the top note is this um, G, then A for the D major chord, and then we go back to the green section. Okay, so now we have this um, sort of darker blue section here. It's the same as this right here, but it's actually in a different key. So I, I colored it darker just so you can understand. So now we're in B minor, same as this green section right here. So yeah, this part's just the same as that other blue section, we're just in a different key. And I 
did change up um, these strings right here. So they're harmonized right here. And then up an octave. are doing the same thing. I will say, if you do want to make this sort of like fantasy sort of music, um, harp is the instrument to go to. Harp and strings and woodwinds are the best for this type of music. Okay, and then um, green section again. For the final section, this outro, it's playing the same stuff here, just very toned down without the heart. You know, this section here has been repeated like three times, as well as this green section, but what makes this um, blue section so different is I made sure to make it different every time. So like for this section right here, we're in a different key. And for this section, we're also in a different key. Outro section just very toned down, very peaceful. We completed the journey, the adventure, and now it's time to rest. Beautiful chord there. So yeah, I don't really see anything wrong with repeating sections as long as you, you know, do something different every time. Well, as for this green section, um, I did the same thing each time, but it works. It doesn't have to be so complex and crazy. It'll just be something very simple like this, and it can go a long way. Okay, I'm gonna play the full track now from start to finish. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it, you know, somewhat useful, I've never, I never really do videos like this where I break stuff down. So, if you find it somewhat useful, um, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and um, yeah, see ya. Enjoy.